Hi guys, welcome back. In this short episode, we're gonna cover how close do you put your bridge to the cue ball. Again, it's one of the most popular questions in pool. Today, we're gonna to cover it. A little guide for you guys to just get a feel of where I think the best place for your hand is. Obviously I've been playing a long time and I'm an old man now, so this comes fairly natural to me. This is for, let's say the beginner, the Tuesday night pub pool player, that type of guy. So I'm roughly just there, that feels natural to me. Now, if I moved forward a little bit, I could still get away with that. And if I moved back a touch more, it would still feel natural and I feel like I would be okay. The main thing is, if you're too close, you're just not gonna get any power on the shot. That would be okay if you're just potting the ball, but overall, that's not where you wanna be. That is definitely too close. You can't get your cue through. You're not gonna get any action on the cue ball for various different shots that you need. If you're too far back, you're going to be too wobbly again you're not going to be consistent in the long run that feels horrible so roughly around here i will put the measurements up soon just to give you an idea i know you can't keep measuring as you're playing again this is just a guide so when you're down here the main thing is my right arm is kind of like natural 90 degrees so that feels good if i was too close and i kept my hand there as you can see, that all kind of goes out of balance, looks horrible, isn't gonna be good at all. If you move your cue up, you've got a lot of cue off the back. Again, if I was just potting that ball, I would be fine. If I was trying to draw the cue ball back, it ain't happening. So roughly around there. So I've been playing pool since about 14, 15 years old. So it's about 10 years, about 20 years-ish anyway. And I just kind of fall naturally into the shot. Most top players do. You just get down and it feels natural because it's years and years of playing. So that is just a layman's guide of how close I feel you should be roughly to the cue ball. You're looking at between 10 and 12 inches for most shots where you can put your hand on the slate. I've moved the ball near the rail in this instance because obviously I can't get too close. As we've said, you're going to lose all power. That's far too close to the cue ball. And if we move to the back like this, again, we've got that kind of wobbly cue and that's just not going to do you any favours whatsoever. So again, it's just finding a nice bridge hand, but I've still got that nice bit of cue from the hand to the ball and that would be roughly 10 to 12 inches as i previously stated so just work on that when you're doing things like that just bear in mind where the cue ball is and obviously when you're practicing on your own put a mark on your cue roughly where it should be and watch that mark on your bridge hand that'll be a good little guide and and just take it all in where the cue ball is if it's near the rail if you've got any questions stick them in the comments or email me don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.